Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds with Nerf. We're back. We're we're so back. We're staring at the skill screen, wondering what to do. Yeah, what should we do? Is Shank Shank is an uh, active or or passive? I always Shank is an uh, an active, and it kind of sucks. And if you hit you, yeah. For the cost and the gated uh, the gate for which you need to the prerequisites, that that's not amazing. I mean. It's pretty ridiculous if you think about it, because it's going to use my horn with plus two penetration for each negative status effect. Yeah, so it can... is kind of ridiculous. I've never understood how to properly use that. So, like, I, I assume not with grenades, right? Like, that's not really what you're after. You're looking no, to I mean, apply bleeding. Bleed, hobble, yeah. Multiple times, because bleeding uh, can be stacked multiple times, yeah. right? It's one of the it can. It, it, shank is one of the few skills that is really easy to overlook because like it's not apparently obvious. Yeah. It's not it obvious. is quite strong though. Like you can do some pretty silly stuff with it. Uh, is there some stuff in endurance or uh, self discipline we might want to take? Fasting way could be good. Yeah, this this one is always. I mean, it's cheap. We'll just take it. Yeah. <laughs> but I was also kind of thinking, fast like empty the clips, fastest gun in the rust dead shot like a lot of these pistol things are pretty strong let's just do fastest gun in the rust action cost of fire yeah i i always appreciate anything any kind of invisible passives that are just improving yeah. your run so whenever we decide to shoot we could also pick up sharer which i think comes from your own personal relics that is yeah that is a modded uh yeah i keep hoping every up every update customs and folklore is going to get expanded because i just love everything in there uh that's not a request that's you know nah. minor hope all right let's see if there's anyone here that we can trade some goods well how active your stilt is everyone's just kind of roaming around why did we go to the apothecary again i don't know you want you want to buy some witchwood bark yeah don't do it don't do it <laughs> dissociative effects yeah I, Which we, we we determined were not that interesting, right? Um, Fire ant yeah. gas repace is good to pick up, though. That's a yeah, that's, that's a always... blaze injector. Blaze injector. I think we have like eleven of those. Yeah, we we have quite a few. Uh... Bow, bow. Primordial. Every time ooze. I come to this, still, what was that? I, I... Yeah, primordial ooze is pretty good, but I mean, you've processed our soup. We're going to the uh, the source of the soup real soon. So. That's true. Yeah, the forbidden soup. Yeah. Why are we going to Gutsmongers? That's a that's a question that takes priority to the apothecary. Yeah. Wooly and spring loaded. Spring loaded is quite nice. I think we're kind of past the point of needing wooly things though. No, yeah, wooly is pointless now. At at this point, like it would have been nice. Well, well, well spring loaded though. Oh, you're wearing uh like special shoes, right? Uh Maybe you are? I don't think we are wearing fancy boots. Oh, it's your gloves that are fancy. We still don't have like good boots. What about the boots you got from that one place? I feel like they must they, be better. They had a chance to teleport. Oh yeah. When you got hit. Which, Awful, Aw worthless. Yeah. We should sell those immediately. Yeah, that's why we're shopping at the stilt. We're looking for someone that we can buy 800 worth of. Excuse me from. there. Do you have any interest in horrible shoes? I mean, I think all these people would find those shoes useful. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Most merchants, you're being robbed. No, I ain't. Zoot. Slime. <laughs> slime stain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every time. Uh, that's, uh, nothing. Bone nothing meal. Here. Bone meal. Bone meal. Bone meal. Always grab. It was a bone meal. Yeah. Oh, always gra be grabbing. Uh, but it's not going to make us want to sell the fateful cleats of Mipper. No. We're going to need to go to Eat Freehold for that. Yeah. We're back to Ezra. I don't think Ezra's going to do it. Unless uh, Six True has some crystal boots. Yeah, you were uh, you were talking about um, you know turning in the XP just recently. Uh, yeah. In the last episode, and uh, another thing to mention though is like that just cut out probably like six hours of farming XP at this level. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, okay. Like I th I I maintain six hours of of gr of uh, of grinding if. Those two levels are going to make the big difference. Um, and they can, they're definitely going to make a difference for sure. But I do wonder like, oh, that was weird. What is that? Alt. That is a very strange thing. I've never seen that before. Holding alt on the world map. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
I I wonder if like unless you're at Tomb of the Eaters, if the two levels are something you would actually go out of your way to grind six hours for. I don't know. Um, I think like uh, you've already said this, but in roleplay mode, yeah, sure, save your books and uh, use them when they're the most optimally optimal to use. But like in I think classic mode, I would probably prefer to to just use them to cut out the danger of the of the beginning. Yeah. We do have a really spicy named location or historic site at uh, the Lake Hinnom. Yeah, that should be interesting. I actually have found, um, I don't know if this is like some, I don't know how, 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 if this is going to remain, but I have found that Lake Hinnom and Palladium Reef are actually pretty easy in comparison to the jungle. The deep jungle? Yeah. Or no, it's just the normal jungle because there's nothing that ever feels as spicy as like a seed sower. Ah, me. yeah, true. Sowers are pretty spicy. The the Sphardim are like kind of spicy, but like even uh, the mental muta- mutant ones never feel as like anxiety inducing as a seed sower. Um, and they drop Crystal and they give like ridiculous XP rewards. So like around this stage, I, I've started making Lake Hinnom and the Palladium Reef my like training grounds. Yeah, I was just remembering. We do have Beatles. We were going to do that when we got something. I can't remember what. Wrath to kill for Unshell. Right. Yeah, we could go back and kill that Brathermite for Unshell Gripta. We could. Uh, this is what I was looking for. We could go pick up Stops Valen or Kendrish. We have a Forest Bracelet. Is Stops Valen worth it? When you have... No, probably not. But, you know, we could still get it. Oh, we should get Kendrish. Wait, East and North? That's in the Moonstair. Yeah, it's stair. in the Moonstair. Oh, brutal. No, thank you. Uh, it's just shy of the moon stair. It's in the deep jungle. That's almost worse in some ways. <laughs> I don't know how the moon stair. Can... I still haven't seen. <laughs> I have had zero time to actually get to my own series. What with construction and uh, house modification. What a bummer. Oh, we should make some Hulk, Hulk, Hulk art, Hulk honey. We should get continue to get even more distracted by things. Just tinker up some. Wow. Blaze. Yeah. You're good. Oh, there we go. You're good. <laughs> You're good. Uh, still. I mean, I think I think still I still make the geomagnetic. Bit. Yeah, go for it. But yeah. like, do we not still have a six bit in our inventory somewhere that we did? Uh, did no, we for? we took it apart to get the thing that we just built. Uh, do we have a nuclear cell? No. No, we're just gonna use this radio powered. All right. Uh, no, we never made the nuclear cell. Where are we? It's, it's like kind of not worth making nuclear cells. Oh, we're way down here by the rusted arch. We still didn't make the Hulk honey injector. No, we did not. I don't know that we had. Yeah, we do. Yeah. That's do. that's why I mentioned it. Yeah, because they just take up weight. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of love, uh, love injectors. Yeah, we've got a lot of love to spread. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, let's just go like up here. Oops, we lost. Yeah, Snapjaws don't really... I think they have like 10 hit, like 2 hit points or something like that, right? I think we're kind of killing them. Oh yeah, we did not get unlost. Lost in the canyons. As we do. Always lost in the canyons. <laughs> the Echo Max beaten down a yeah. tortoise. Oh. So where are we going? We're going to the asphalt mines? Yeah, why not? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Just something to do. I mean, we could go actually progress the quest forward, find Clank. Yeah. Uh, the mines deal are, with uh, puffing on shit. The mines are, are a good enough place to hang out. We're high enough level. And we have jump, so that, that's something we throw that away. You can tell that when there's a whole lot of liquid on the ground, the, the auto explore calculations take a lot longer. <laughs> oh, you're not zooting around as quickly. Yeah, this is this is as fast as it can auto explore with this much stuckiness. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. That actually answers a question I've often had. I think. What's that? 
why it takes longer to auto explore when there's liquid on the ground. Yeah, just a lot more complicated pathing going on every frame. I, I'm sure I've remarked on that. It's like, I have it set to infinite. How come I'm taking so long? Also, we're going to be covered in tar. Got some fire snouts. Got them fire snouts. Oh, I guess we already have a dram of oil. We don't need, we don't need 64 drams. Yeah. I, I feel like two drams. Yeah, I mean, I would probably collect, I mean, I could just four. We have three. Oh, three is good. Yeah. Did you just collect 64? No, I okay, hit escape. Good. All right, that's good. Yeah, three drams is good. You'll never, you'll never find three like robotic barathermites in the same moment. Oh, that's right. We're friends to slimes. I keep forgetting. Yeah, friends to ooze. Still, that humor is a pain in the butt. Yeah, humors are annoying because they leave acid on the ground. Also, I don't know. Uh, maybe you could explain this to me. What what is a humor? Like, why is it called that? I have no idea. Dang. It was called that well before I was ever around. Oh. Boof. That is another humor. At least when they're icy, they don't leave slime. But they will switch. Yeah. Boof. Since uh, slipping is a thing in cut, I'm surprised that ice patches aren't a thing that you could like accidentally slip on. Uh, probably more because we haven't bothered to make ice. Right. It would actually probably be a little bit hard. Yeah, I mean like considering how much extra uh, power it takes to like figure out the auto exploring or even like pathfinding. Oh, there's a there's a nice corpse. Um, yeah, I imagine uh, adding another hazard to cut is probably a disaster. Ooh. Oh, and it's a pistol, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is an amazing find. We got the we got the spacer pistol. All right. That's a uh, plasma, right? Yeah. <gasps> Pentaceps. Yeah, right. You're going to probably still should have uh... <laughs> sold the Pentaceps. Yeah. yeah. So I think I might need to cut this one a little short. The barkingness was the arrival. The barkening? Yeah. All right. And we're back. Yeah, about 15 minutes. Yo, no, nylon body pack. Yo, Pentaceps. a nylon body pack. Yeah, Pentaceps. Yo, Pentaceps. I've been, uh, I've been looking at some mods for Caves of Cut, and I do notice that um, there's at least one that's like, you're a true kin, but also you can have mutations or basically like you're you yeah. can have uh, cybernetics that install mutations. I'm like, that's that's broken. I do appreciate the um, I don't know, uh, the sacrifice, the thing you have to give up by choosing yeah. like one or the other. You should try out some of Chaos's mods, uh, Tenfold Path and uh, Sifra. Yep, those are both on my list. Um, I, I've got those both installed for yeah. My next series. Sifra, I... Sifra is really cool. Uh, if you enjoy the little mini game, uh, but it's got a, it's got other stuff too, right? Yeah, I mean, Sifra enables a lot of things through its mini game. Oh, okay. Like you can hack uh, becoming nooks. Oh, is one example. Interesting. I uh, in the very small uh, time I spent trying to learn uh, code with or uh, modding code with you. I, I, I do recall that the coming nooks are like a nightmare to have to try and mod. Yeah. So um, very, pretty bold to, to do a, uh, like have that aspect where you can hack. Well, the, the thing nooks. is, is that, uh, you know, chaos being someone like myself with the ability to just write code in the game, <laughs> it's a lot easier to mod something that is oh, when I you see. make it moddable. So right. like uh, when you're working directly with like the I guess in uh, I, and I'm I'm like I barely know how this stuff works but like the internal code I guess or like the the non 
kind of packaged code, um, you have a better chance of kind of parsing things out. Yeah, well, it's it's more like you can add in whatever's missing that makes it hard to mod. Ah. Uh, the way you want it to. Right. But the way Chaos writes a lot of his mods, they're kind of they're actually built into CUD. Just his mod enables the code that's already in CUD. <laughs> that seems like cheating. No, that's yeah. That's it is fun. a little. It is a little cheating uh, <laughs> as a mod writer, but that's the that's the perk uh, yeah. that Chaos works under. Uh, and I I believe Chaos did the pronouns mod too, right? Yep. And that was also. It's also implemented the yeah. same way. It, it's it's in the core game. It just you have to enable it that's a way funnier version of that coffee uh the the, the coffee thing with gta san andreas we yeah. found a pro pronouns mod hidden in the code outrage oh well i mean underneath it cud has obviously a extremely intricate grammar and you know uh pluralization and gender like everything needs to have its everything needs to know its pronouns yeah um so it's really easy to add other pronouns this is a uh, sort of something i was talking about with brian was like how difficult it's going to be to localize uh cud for like other countries because of its like dependency on its own language yeah well it's also like a bunch of the words in cud are just kind of made up <laughs> right but they have roots and like you know they're very punny on real things puns are like i i i know um one of the hardest things for when it comes to like translation things yeah they're, they're like, basically not translatable yeah uh, it's kind of a miracle when it works out like um yeah the, i think one of the best examples i rem remember is the uh in Animal Crossing, there's a, a a person that sells you turnips, and in I think in Japan it was a pun on stock. It's like the stock market. Um, yeah. And then in, in North America, it turned. I can't remember what the pun it turned into, but it, like it managed to translate and then also still be a pun. Yeah. And it's like that when that happens, it's kind of a uh, in, insane. That's someone who well, cared a lot. Yeah, I mean that's. That's why they call it localization and not translation. Right. Right? Because, like, a good localization person will understand the pun and then look for another thing that's similarly punny in the new locale. But it's hard. And it's one of the reasons why, like, you know, like, there are tools, uh, if you go digging out there, there are a couple of tools that'll take, like, basically any Unity game and like run all the text boxes through like automatic translation software oh, but actually, like those uh, aren't going to work very well for cud because again a lot of the words are made up right shade oil yeah you are over encumbered do you want maybe we want to turn butcher off yeah we probably could just turn butching butchering off if butchering off works This is the floor where everything was going to eventually be on fire anyway. I'm stuck. The broken cryo chamber here. I feel like this place lost a little bit of its uh, bite. Like, now that the temperature propagation works the way that it does, this place doesn't... This floor used to just turn into, like, fire immediately. Oh, really? Yeah. Now the question is, is are the stairs down... This is where Jill's going to come in handy. a terrible place. Yeah. I didn't realize for a long time how, like, necessary jump is. I always tried to, like, kind of, um pick up enough lava to create a path yeah jump is super nice just let auto explore do its thing here uh oh there's lava on the 
upstairs. So, oh, only a little bit. Oh, that's, yeah. That's collectible. Do we have a water skin we can sacrifice? I mean, we have a couple. Oh. Uh, trying to... Uh, maybe the... We don't need the salt. I guess not. I was going to say maybe the honey. Why do we need warm static, actually? Hmm? We got warm static. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff? That's the good stuff. Have you, uh, not played with static yet? No, not yet. I... I haven't been to the moon stair. <laughs> I mean, I um, I I know it's in the moon stair, and I know vaguely what it does, but I I haven't played with it. Oh, did I see Pentas? Okay, the bits the bits done. The bits. Done. Uh, Drink. Yeah, right. And then we are we throwing it away or I'm just, just pouring it somewhere it. else? You're not gonna pour it out somewhere else and then repair your water skin? Oh, that's a that's a nasty. Can you even jump over anything? There. Yeah, I can jump there. Oh. Got to keep talking while we're doing this, otherwise the <laughs> the stream's gonna miss the. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna miss everything. Thing. Yeah, that's right. Well, there's not. I mean, like, so I, I am interested to see how far you go here, because I've been um like sub 25 strata deep in asphalt mines exactly once and i also know there's a new content in the asphalt mines that i haven't seen so i am uh tentatively uh curious but um uh, this this may actually be a reveal for me that i haven't seen we added new content to the asphalt mine yeah i understand there's like a whole like some something ocean and then there, there i thought i think there's even like a big bad at the bottom i don't know i haven't been down here oh dang reveal for both of them yeah maybe i should set a checkpoint that's a good Using idea the campfire checkpoint mod campfire checkpoint you should check that out the links links in the description which i i don't think i said even once but i put all the uh links to narf's mods in the description including the rhinocenot mod Is the Rhinocenaut in officially in CUD and in, and in your mod and, uh, enables it, or...? No, no. I mean, it, it's just a preset. I'm still it's actually one of the easiest mods to create if, like, you wanted to make your own builds with, like, your own sprites. Yeah. I'm... It's actually extremely easy to do. I'm thinking about... Um, I, I have been thinking for the last couple of weeks about, like, what kind of build I would want to, like throw a stake in the ground like this is this is something i want to play often and also something i i enjoy from a mechanical and aesthetic point of view yeah i was kind of thinking uh honestly i'm kind of thinking something like a scorpion lad i really like the um the stinger and i've also grown to really enjoy long blade so i'm i'm thinking something like that but i don't know i gotta i gotta play around with something i gotta you know tinker with some builds and see what i like yeah. find something broken and also uh but not too broken it's a fine line i mean i don't know if too broken is a possibility in caves of code i yeah i guess the build itself can't be too broken but your your like the str your strategy in cud can I yeah, guess. yeah that's that's uh oh. I guess that, that was a lava on the stairs. I hate it when this happens. That was a good reason to probably keep that water skin, though I was joking at the time. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm regretting dropping that. Uh, we could water go skin back now. and get it. It probably nah, is. Well, still... oh, we have a thermoelectric cell. Can we tinker that? Hold on. I guess is that brackish lava on the stairs? Yeah, it is. It uh, is brackish, but yeah. Lame. I mean, you can still pour the brackish lava into the thermoelectric cell. It just. You can, uh, but I was thinking for the purposes of like killing two birds with one stone. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's my method now. I think that like making thermoelectric cells for the purposes of selling lava is a fair compromise when it comes to that, um, because like it's still costing you something to make those cells, yeah. and you still have to like figure out how to make them, and like there's a lot of things that kind of gate that pour it nearby. Yeah. What is it? Oh. Sure. That, hope. Uh, this is this is making me nervous. <laughs> no, that um, that particular tile filled up. Oh. The container was full. We are twenty-five strata deep. deep. Oh, I guess it's another ten strata you have to go before you start seeing uh, lava lads. 
I think the biggest bummer about um, Strata's 20 to 30 of asphalt mines is that the loot pool really isn't any better. Nope. And oh, there we go. Okay. To, sorry, sub 25 Strata. Um, the loot pool isn't any better. The monster pool isn't any spicier really until 26 Strata. We're not. Oh, we are we friends to crabs? No. Oh my god. Friends to everything. Roke, rock is croaking. <laughs> I love, I love the tile for uh, lava crabs so much. They're one of my favorite monster designs in Cud. They're yeah, the like, magma crab does look pretty great. The the fact that they have like a, a very slight kind of um, effect on them, like they kind of cinder, and then yeah. uh, they're like part and parcel intimidating, but also still kind of like that ludicrous kind of crab look. There's something funny about crabs, just as a monster type in general. I mean, there's a lot of crabs in HUD. There's a lot of crabs. The crabification. I'm a few, I'm assuming uh, we are not going to fight any crabs, despite their uh, amazing XP. No, probably not. They're they're a little annoying to deal with. A little bit. A little bit annoying to deal with. I feel, well, I guess we're mostly a melee build. We'd have to set up some decent ring. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That's something. We can't use it, but we can definitely yeah. sell it. Oh, I guess you are over encumbered, so. Yeah, let's see how. A weird artifact. Spring turret grenade. These are hilarious. Pentaceps. Oh, Pentaceps. <laughs> I love Pentaceps. This bit is never going to get old. Uh. Still over encumbered. Yeah. We have like a ton of laser rifles and stuff that we could disassemble. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do. Let's you could also, um. Actually, the rifles are probably. Could also, uh, uh, preserve your luminous horse room. Some of it, anyway. Oh, yeah. That's a good, that's a good thought. We'll do that next campfire. So, 28 strata. I'm, I'm curious and like cautiously like it, it's, it might get spooky i don't know i'm interested to, to see what happens post 30 strata it's a kind of a milestone wait those are up yeah those are up yeah we have to jump so the... to get on the down one you Oops. pass by a puddle of magmatic salt uh-oh it would have uh okay. it would have warned there are you. no uh i did like a little page up and page down yeah to make sure that there wasn't any good call so i'm gonna have to we gotta wait 43 rounds to jump again. Wow. Imagine waiting like the equivalent of a minute before you can jump again. Rhino, Rhino, uh, has to, has to catch their breath. I can't believe you're friends to crabs. It takes me like an enormous amount of effort to become friends with crabs and you're friends with crabs, oozes, unshelled reptiles. What other? Oh yeah, robots. Yeah, you got like robots. all of the best ones, all of the best rep. I, I actually don't know. I'd be hard pressed to find anything else that matters as much as those four. Those are kind of the big ones. We also had trolls. That's <laughs> yeah, trolls. Even though we've already dealt with all the trolls in the entire game. Ah, we found it, the Dromad Cavern. Let's see, Caravan, let's see if they can survive. There's a Dromad Caravan this deep? Apparently. I think he might have died. Uh, oh no, he's still alive. I don't know where they are. Hamel Crab, that's the new lad. New big bad, Hamel Crab. Flaming Great Salt Bag, wow. Uh, unlock, yeah, huh. They, they did perish. I don't know. Oh, nope. He'll oh. hang it out with Hamel Crab. There they are. Hamel Crab is friends with Dromad. Ooh, and a dervish? <laughs> Dromad Trader is a hired guard. Lawless <laughs> Crystal Gauntlets. That's not bad. Oh, we got some really exciting artifacts, maybe. <laughs> That's going to be like 200 drams to... Oh, I guess they, they're, they're not going to tell you. Yeah, they don't have the ability to identify. I think uh, we do have some bananas. Yeah, we should uh, we'd figure out what those are. Ooh. We can get rid of some weight. Heck yeah. Where's pentaceps? No, not pentaceps. Oh, it's 10. Yeah, okay, never it's mind. It's 10 pounds, dude. That's why it keeps showing up. 
Oh, poor Pentacept. We could buy those herb berries. I don't think we have any herb berries yet. Oh yeah, we haven't like we haven't started getting tipsy. Someone what... on your uh, someone on your YouTube channel will recognize that. I would wouldn't mind having song. the context. Uh, all right, hold on. Let me let me let me send you some context. Okay, excited uh, for this. Pause recording half sec because it might come through when I'm searching. Re-enable. I have enabled. All right, so he's been filled in to everybody uh, in this club getting tipsy. That's good. That's really good. So yeah, the herbary in this club getting tipsy. I uh, I I like kind of feel like herbary must be some kind of reference or pun or something that I'm not understanding. I, is that that can't be it? Is it? I have, I, I have no idea. There's a lot. Of, there's I, a lot I of just made there. that up. Yeah. It could be it. I didn't. Do, I doubt it. it. I highly doubt it. But I just made that up because it. My brain will do things like that where it'll just. Oh, you know what we can sell? We can sell those boots. Oh yeah. I'm wondering, the fateful cleats of Mipir. I'm wondering if we have flawless crystal gauntlets. Those are heavy as hell. The. Uh. <gasps> Thirty-five pounds. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, that's why I've been wanting to find something that we can buy, right? Yeah. That's, uh I don't think we have flawless Christeel gauntlet. I feel like we are missing cross Christeel boots. That's possible. I think we have Christeel gauntlets. I don't think we have flawless flawless Christeel. <laughs> uh case of code. Uh but I need to see this is the problem with not carrying very many water skins right is you need to be very careful about well, why don't you just we'll buy that out. weird artifact there and then just make up the change within a grounding shunt sure 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 but the change won't be okay changes within my current amount of water perfect that worked all right so let's figure out what that weird artifact was is there a chair here did you guys bring a chair with you <laughs> uh, we got a metal workbench though what is this thing gigantic oh, nice. mannequin <laughs> This is where the trolls buy their uh, clothes. Actually, I don't even think the trolls are gigantic. Red hot claw. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we, we have, have been carrying around some. Uh, yeah. Let's uh. Here, I will add a chair to your collection. Here, you can Amazing. have my willowy. Wow! I can't believe that that came in handy. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, that. A Ooh, six that's a six bit. For a hundred. bit. For a hundred drams, that was kind of a steal. Like a hundred, yeah, even one hundred seventy-five. Yeah. And a five I think bit. I gotta disassemble. Yeah, yeah, go for it. That makes sense. Oh, we didn't get the five back. That's all right. Oh, that's. We have a. Don't we have an advanced toolkit? Uh, we do. All right. I don't um, remember if it's powered. We got to the bottom of asphalt mines, and we, we have meant not to... installed a cell in it yet. Oh, uh, <laughs> we probably would have got the five bit. Ooh, it usually it gives you a warning when it. Uh, well, it, it never had a cell in it, so um, it never had charge. Then didn't. Uh, um. Uh, Let's uh, let's save looking at the at the crab boss. But oh, you, oh I guess we oh. they're le they they are legendary, but they don't have any reputation. Oh, they're a merchant, Cyclopean merchant. Why don't we save? Don't don't uh, don't look at the trade screen just yet. Let's save that for the next episode because we're running okay. long now. Yeah, um, I'm gonna take a yeah yeah let's yeah. Go. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. We'll see you guys next time.